Hello and welcome back and today we're continuing our look at mobile applications from QNAP to control and interact with the data on your NAS. We've already done QManager in a previous video and today we're going to look at QFile. Now, first and foremost, right here on the outset, you may notice at the top right of the screen there, the Wi-Fi symbol is showing no internet. The reason I'm doing that is because I don't want loads of notifications on the screen from things like emails and even YouTube itself. So I've disabled the internet access on this. So if there are any hiccups with that, I'll let you know later in the video. But as you can see, this is the QFile user interface. Now, this app is available for free from iOS and Android. And once you've got it installed, it's really easy to find the NAS on your local area network. Just click at the bottom to add NAS. It will then search your local area network for a network attached storage device, and it will appear on this screen. However, because I've already added the NAS in my area network, as you can see on the screen here, it's not going to find it. So if we go into this NAS, it will immediately access the file management of our NAS. Now, for those that are looking for ways to configure their NAS, configure their backups, and effectively micromanage the configuration of their NAS, then you need QManager. This is about interacting on a file and folder level with your NAS device. As we can see, this is the main directory of that NAS. I can see here in front of me via my mobile phone, and the whole thing is being conducted once again over the network via Wi-Fi. So the speed you're looking at here will be the speed you get at home. And right now I am ooh, about three walls away from the NAS in a moderately soundproof room. So again, that's why our signal isn't high, but hopefully we should get some real world instances of interaction between us and that device. So from the top left menu here, we've got lots of options open to us. For a start, it lists all the internal folders of our NAS, but on top of that, you can configure things like QSync. Now, QSync is the ability to synchronize your mobile device with, or, you know, there is client application for desktop systems too, with that NAS and do constant backups, be them individual or a diff backup as you see fit, but we're gonna cover QSync in another video. Moving to the bottom here, we can see stuff like favorites for folders that we've decided are the most important, and we'll come back to that later on, and we won't click back as hard as that. Auto upload means that we can set up individual files and folders on our NAS that will automatically um, upload to our phone or vice versa. So if you want to make sure your gallery on your phone is constantly uploaded, um, either whenever a change happens or at a certain time of day, this is where you would conduct it. And on top of that, you can make sure it only happens when your phone is charging or only over Wi-Fi. So these options are readily available. And again, all of this can be done in the background or automatically. And you can choose files and folders directly from the NAS or from your phone as customized as you want, because customization is key with QNAP's business model, allowing you to choose any files and folders you want. Now, sharing links is where if you've got files and folders on the NAS that you're sharing with individual users over the network or the internet, they will appear here. However, because I've not set any up and I've disabled the internet on this device, we're not gonna see much activity here. But take my word for it, that's where it's done. Next, we can carry on and make our way back and we can look here at the bottom at the download folder. Now, for those that are using Download Station, these, this is the folder where all of those downloaded folders will live. And on top of that, it will also display the file and folders on your local device. So if you want to see the folder, in this case, on my mobile phone, this is the Pixel 2 XL, this is the folder they'd be in. And you can configure it directly from the mobile app. The settings menu at the bottom corresponds to just this device. And one key thing I didn't really touch on on my video from around about a year and a half ago was to do with the QNAP ID because this app doesn't just work over the network, it works over the internet too. So you can utilize this application to access your NAS remotely over the internet just by setting up your free QNAP ID account when you set up your NAS for the first time. Moving from here, there's lots of different options here with regards to automatic uploading, whether you want only th things to only happen over Wi-Fi, limit the amount of total data that can be uploaded or downloaded maximum, just in case you need those provisos, and of course, things that will just make interaction with your NAS a great deal easier on a file folder level. Because remember, if you want something a bit more tailored for videos, photos, music and more, they have dedicated apps for that. This is for utilizing 
just file folder access, which brings us, let's be honest, directly into the NAS itself. Let's look at the files and folders. Now, these are the folders that I've deigned to have on my device. But if we go into the multimedia folder, we've got lots of stuff here. Let's go into the folder Taiwan and Hong Kong. And these are photos and videos from my trip to CBIT last year. I'll say last year, this year, sorry. Now let's take a picture of these. These are some lovely long bow dumplings here on the screen. We can click it and view the photo for ourselves. Awesome stuff there. And from here, we've got a number of different options open to us. At the top right, we have a stream functionality where if there are DLNA media devices that accept casting and push, you can push this photo to that screen at the click of a button. Next, if you're using a 360 headset or a VR headset, you can create a VR version of this photo that will be compatible with that device. But of course, because they're using a mobile phone, it's all over the place. And of course, if you've got Google Cardboard, you can set it up in Google Cardboard mode too, which is pretty cool, I think. Deactivate that. Now from here, we can download the individual file if we want. So if we click download, boom, it adds it to a download path there in the background. Alternatively, let's get that photo back. As we can see, the phone's just let me know that it was downloaded. On top of that, we can send a copy to people or share a download pin to link for other users. So if we do that, from here, we can now create a link that allows us to share a file or a folder with any connected user. From here, we can add an individual password if we want and even add an expiry date so we can stop people utilizing um, this file or folder having access after a given date. And of course, you can use an SSL if you've got an SSL certificate set up to protect you even further. You can even limit the domain name or IP of the connected user just to make sure only they use it. Click the icon at the top right and we've created a download link which we can now share, copy paste however we see fit over the network. And it really is that straightforward to share the files and folders on our NAS. And indeed, we can scroll through them or we can click play for it to do an automated slideshow that will just flick between pictures for us and we won't have to uh, tailor with that on a like hands-on level. Now, videos as well are of course included. So we've got lots of videos here. So if we go for this video, and it now allows us to select whether we want the original file or to utilize transcoding because transcoding is enabled on this device as well but for now let's click the original file and we're going to use q file to play this folder uh, this file which i believe is a video file quite a large one indeed of some water that i found at stanley beach while on a while in hong kong so again that might screw up the um, screen recording there it's worth bearing in mind that might be problematic there. But that's how to play files and folders very, very easily. And again, the sharing and customization limits all the way down to individual folders too. So if we go back to the Taiwan and Hong Kong folder and click those three dots from here, we can not only download the whole file if we so choose, which on a mobile will not download as a zip, it will download individual files. But on top of that, what we can also do is find out how big the file is at the top right. As we can see, that folder is 15.5 gig. We can rename it. We can do all kinds of stuff here. And again, as file management goes, this is you know, what you want in this kind of application for mobile. And for those that just want a file folder access, this is ideal. But let's wrap things up here. We've got the next video coming very, very soon. And this is going to be focusing more and more on these QNAP applications. Next, we're going to be looking at Q Music, Q Video, and Q Photo. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Click like and subscribe to learn about more about NAS, and I'll see you next time.